Hey, what's up, fellas? How you doing? Man, it's Anelli here. Today's video is sponsored by Rucket Sports. Rucket makes top quality baseball gear and equipment. We use a lot of their stuff with our Antonelli baseball teams. If you want to receive 15% off your order, click on the link in the description box. Hey, what's going on guys? How we doing? Man, Antonelli here. Today, we're talking about staying back. How to stay back properly. What is staying back? What isn't staying back? All right, I get this question all the time from players. How do I stay back? Why can't I stay back? And then if you go to a game, you're going to hear it at least 50 times. Somebody yell, stay back, or everybody yell, stay back, stay back, stay back. It's probably the most popular saying when it comes to hitting instruction, okay? So let's start off by talking about first what isn't stay back and why are players having a difficult time with it, okay? What isn't stay back is when I get to my lead leg too early. I shift my weight into my lead leg here and now I can't let the ball travel all right I'm out in front I'm rolling over to the third baseman and shortstop if I'm a right-handed hitter I can't hit with two strikes because I can't stay on any off-speed pitches especially away right I'm just getting heavy to my lead leg too early in the swing and I cannot stop myself from going forward okay um, a lot of times players and coaches think that it's just, well, let the ball travel more, right? So a player gets here, oh, they're out front, and the, hit, the coach will say, hey, stay back, man, let that ball travel, let that ball travel, let that ball get there. For me, it's more of a body thing. So like I said, if I'm getting to my lead leg early, even if I think in my mind to let the ball travel more, I don't know what pitch is coming. So. If it's not the pitch I'm expecting, I still am going to be early because I'm still getting to this leg. Everything wants to go forward. I'm going to want to swing the bat way out there. Okay? When guys get here, they swing down and out in front. Contact always happens way out there. So it's almost impossible to let the ball travel further if that's what my body is doing. All right? So let's talk about how to put our body in position so that we can control our weight a little bit more we can stay more centered and now it's easy to let the ball travel because I'm not just at the mercy of whatever the pitch is like yeah oh I just happen to be ready exactly at the right amount of time oh yeah I got that hit but 90% of the time when I don't guess right or the ball's a little faster or a little slower than I think I just can't time that thing up okay so how to control your body for me it all starts with our posture, our load, getting into the back hip, all right? So when I get ready, you'll see, if you watch elite hitters, major league hitters, no matter where they start, guys start in all different positions, but when they get ready to go, they all get into good posture, and they all get into their back hip. So I talk about getting their, your butt out and your chest over. You wanna almost think like you're taking, if you have baseball pants on and you've got this back pocket right here, on your back leg, like I'm loading that thing towards the pitcher, all right? People say, oh, that's, you know, that's a coil. Whatever you want to call it, I've got to feel like I'm getting loaded. I'm in good posture. This butt, my butt is getting out, and I'm loading that pocket to the pitcher. That's going to keep me in my back leg, and so that now when I stride, I can ride, you know, we talk about hinging, right? I'm going to hinge my hips back. My hips are going to hinge, hinge back, my chest going to be over it, and now I'm going to ride that hinge out as I move forward. I'm not going to lose it and get here. Right? When I get out of posture, I come up here, I get out of my back hip, now I get into my lead leg too early. But if I stay here, I can move forward. Don't confuse this with just staying back like this. This is no-no too. This is not going to do anything for me either. I'm not just doing this. I'm getting into good posture and I can go forward. I can move forward, but I'm watch how much more centered I am when I move that way versus when I lose that posture, I lose the hinge, and now I've shifted into my lead leg too early. And I'm gonna have big problems letting the ball travel. I'm gonna have big problems staying behind the ball. Okay? Versus here, now I can 
when I launch, I'm launching, my body is back more. So now I'm able to allow the ball to travel more. I'm able to put my foot down and hit when I want to, right? Out of control, in control, okay? So I need to make sure that I'm the one dictating when I get my front foot down, when I launch my swing, okay? And the way you do that is by keeping that hinge, riding that hinge as I stride forward, and that way when I say go, go, I'm back more. So now my barrel works deeper, I'm in the zone earlier, but I'm back. I'm gonna allow the ball to travel. The other thing I'll say with that, the pullback will help you with that, okay? So when I pull back, if you haven't seen our videos on pullback, go back and watch that. I pull back, as I'm moving forward, my pullback is kind of resisting that move forward. It's keeping me back a little bit more. So if I have no pullback and I just get here, everything wants to get forward. My swing wants to get forward, I'm gonna to wanna to hit the ball out there. But if I pull back as I move forward, that helps keep me back also. You've gotta remember the hinge and the posture. If you don't have that and you just pull back, you'll probably still get forward also. But if I get in good posture and have my hips hinge back and I really get into my back hip and then I add the pullback, I'm gonna be in such a better position. I'm gonna control my body much more. It's really about putting your body in good position to hit. If you don't get in the good position to hit, you'll never hit. It's impossible. Hitting's too hard. You'll get lucky every now and then. You'll get a couple hits. You'll hit a few balls hard, but you'll never be consistent, okay? So hopefully that makes sense. Let me know if you have any questions in the comment section below. Subscribe to the channel. Give it a thumbs up, I'd appreciate that. I just put sunscreen on. It's all in my mouth right now. It's really driving me crazy. Uh, check out the description box below. We've got a bunch of stuff down there. We've got a deal going on with Plate Crate where if you type in Antonelli, click the link, type in Antonelli, you get 50% off of your first Plate Crate. Also have a link to our Patreon page where you can support the channel. Uh, we got a bunch of other stuff, so go check all that out. I'm going to go get a glass of water, and uh, we'll talk to you later.